What's up everybody, my name's Shance and today we're going to be playing a rotation proof cavalcade deck. So it is going to be mono red and we are going to be playing a very similar deck to the cavalcade deck I released earlier um, in this set uh, having come out. But this one is going to be completely rotation proof and uh, yeah, still just as fun. So. Before we go ahead and hop into the deck tech or deck breakdown, I would like to remind everybody to leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video and a comment in the comment section if you have any questions or any of that or if you have any suggestions for you know future videos, past videos, or this video. Um, also, if you're new here, consider subscribing. It is a great free way of supporting the channel and it will give you an update every time I put out a video such as this one. Um, now those of you looking to support the channel through monetary means, we have unlocked channel membership so you can hit the join button that is located somewhere on the video. I think it's in the bottom right maybe. Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, and we've, all, we've also been partnered with TCGPlayer.com so anybody looking to help support the channel while picking up magic cards can head over there and use the promo code the new doctor spell and uh, won't save you anything but it'll send a portion of your purchase to me. So. Now that we've got all that sell out out of the way, <laughs> we can go ahead and hop into the deck tech or deck breakdown. We have four copies of Scorch Spitter, um, which obviously is going to work wonders with your Chandra Spitfire, which is kind of the second um, star of this deck, right? You you have the the Cavalcade of Calamity, which is fantastic, but then you also have Chandra Spitfire, which off of Cavalcade just becomes huge, right? So, and this idea was originally brought to us by Macfar, one of one of our channel's very own long-time followers um, and supporters. Anyways, Scorch Spitter works wonders, right? It has one attack, already has basically a built-in Cavalcade of its own, so whenever you have Cavalcade down and this, it's going to be dealing three damage, which for one mana is like pretty solid um, <clears throat> excuse me also it can proc uh, the Spitfire without having Cavalcade down so you know all in all very solid <clears throat> and this deck is fairly cheap as well so four copies of shock for either removal or again proccing the Spitfire two copies of 10 Street Dodger um, and the reason I have it is because I can't run six copies of Torch Courier pretty much I think Torch Courier is the optimum one drop creature. Torch Courier and Scorch Spitter I think are the best. Um, but you know that that's up to you as far as rotation proof goes right. But uh, yeah 10 Street you know you pay one mana essentially can't be blocked. There are fringe scenarios where your opponent's playing defenders and it's like alright well this card is actually just kind of a dud but uh, hopefully if they're playing defenders you know and they defend with the defender it won't be the the piranha wall right. Most other defenders don't have any any attack power. <clears throat> Next we have four copies of Tur Torch Courier, which comes in handy with the Spitfire. So you get you get whatever down on turn one. Ten Street, Torch Courier, either one, right? So you get a Torch Courier. Turn two, you go uh, card I'm looking for. I guess it would need to be a Torch Courier. But turn two, you go Cavalcade. Turn three, you go uh, Trinder Spitfire, and you sack out. Your torch courier, so your Chandra Spitfire already comes online and swings in, and then that's turn three dealing four damage with a flying creature, which only gets better from there, right? Um, and you also get the proc off of Cavalcade, so five damage turn turn three, not bad. Um, then we have Cavalcade, which most of you should know. However, for those of you that don't, <clears throat> whenever you control a creature, or I'm sorry, whenever a creature you control with power one or less attack, Cavalcade deals one damage to the player or planeswalker. It is important to note that, um, that that creature is attacking. So just an extra little point of damage, but it works wonder with Spitfire, like I've already mentioned. We have two copies of Chandra's Regulator to help us draw, actually, right? Makes really, really good sense if you all think about it, especially whenever you play things like Chandra's Acolyte of Flame and Chandra Fire Artisan. Now, ideally, you would be playing at least one more copy of Acolyte of Flame, because she does have the wonderful ability of just creating two one ones for free that you can always swing in with, right? You don't have to worry about losing them because at the end of every sorry, <laughs> because at the end of every turn, um, I'm gonna toss that over there. Uh, they're gonna be disappearing anyways, right? So that is very nice. Also, it allows you to recast things like light up the stage, skewer the critics, um, heart fire, which I'll explain why I did heart fire here in a second. So yeah, Chandra's Regulator, you know, all in all, fantastic. 
Uh, Heartfire. I did have Lava Cool in the deck, but then I was thinking, you know what? Lava Cool doesn't really make sense because in those fringe scenarios, and again, we're we're kind of playing off fringe here, which you can throw in Lava Cool if you want, but uh, I prefer Heartfire. And here's why. Because Lava Cool can't hit the face, right? Heartfire can. So in those scenarios where you're like, oh man, I really need to hit him in the face, but I only have a Lava Cool, you'll be wishing you had a Heartfire. And hopefully I won't find myself in that scenario because I have the Heartfire. So we have four copies of Unchained Berserker. And by the way, if you're going to add in another copy of Chandra, I would probably take out a copy of uh, Unchained Berserker. It is good. Yes, you know, it swings in for 3-1. It's kind of like the red version of Adanto Vanguard. It's not necessarily indestructible or any of that, but it does have protection from white, which is fantastic. Um, aside from that, you know, it it procs the Cavalcade, and then it's also a 3-1 attacking in, so close to 4 damage turn 2. Not bad. Uh, turn 3, sorry. Summoner, summoner Sickness and whatnot. Uh, Chandra Acolyte of Flame, I've already discussed. Chandra Spitfire. Um, for those of you, again, that don't know what this card does, whenever an opponent is dealt non-combat damage, Chandra Spitfire gets plus 3, plus 0 until end of turn. So what are we trying to do here with this deck? Use Cavalcade because it is non-combat damage. And then you just proc it, you know, 3, 4 times. And then, you know, 3, 4 times plus 3 is 9 or 12. And then you have a 10-3 or a 13-3 in the, in the sky, right? Which is just really, really strong. Um, then we have four copies of Light at the Stage to help us draw, four copies of Skewer of the Critics because it's just really good, right? And then two copies of Chandra Fire Artisan, again, to help us draw and give us give us a little bit more threat, right? Take some, take some pressure off of our faces. Um, and then also if we can get it up to the minus seven, hey, that's just a lot of damage at our foe. So, and we are only running 18 mountains. Um, forgot who it was but somebody had suggested that we go down to 18 although we do have more three drops now um, skewer and light up stage I don't really count so it's basically just Chandra and uh, Spitfire now <laughs> I say Chandra and Chandra but y'all know what I mean so that's gonna do it for the deck tech or deck breakdown and now we're gonna hop right into some matches alrighty here we are up against Florence love good Florence love good that sounds like a real name. All right, so yeah, I mean, pretty pretty awesome hand here. We have the Scorch Spitter, Unchained, and Spitfire. We're not gonna worry about the Regulator right now. That'll be a card that we we play once we're like, okay, now we need to draw, right? Now we're sort of out of cards to play. Rat Colony. Rat Colony. I do think we go ahead and still swing in. Let them see the play. If they want to take out my Scorch Spitter, let them. No. They're going to go down to 13. Oh, man. <laughs> Another one. We're, yeah, we'll take the three. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my friend, my buddy, my pal, I don't think Rat Colony is as good as it once was, so... Deal three, he goes up to four, goes up to seven. Three. Okay, I really want to play the other Spitfire, but like realistically, how quickly does this get us to victory, right? <laughs> so, they're one off of death if they, well, they're either dead or they're one off of death, right? So. <clears throat> yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, I made a comment in the deck tech. Unchained Berserker does not work with Cavalcade. Just just so everyone knows, so we're all clear. I made a blender. Florence Love Good, gonna scoop it because they realize on the next turn I have a flyer that has that one little bit of damage that I need. So Yeah, game one. Pick it up. Cavalcade. Still just as fun. And uh, still just as fast, so rotation proof cavalcade, everyone looking for it, here you go. Have fun. Emirian? Emirian? Emirian. Hey. I might have finally got a name right. Whoa. Uh. 
That's a hand. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I don't like mulliganing too much, but like, I'm not about to start with three or with one land in hand. Not happening. Now we kind of have the same, the same exact setup as last game, right? Worked out well for us, so maybe it will again. Though I don't know. Can never be too sure. And Mirian playing some, playing some stuff. Looks like they're playing gates so far. A gate deck, teamer gates. No, maybe they're just playing the teamer elemental deck, and all they have are like, you know, the common lands, which would make sense. That's what a lot of people, like a lot of budget players and all that, have. I hell, that's what I still use. What am I talking about? Kind of like secluding myself from that group, but I, I'm right dab in the middle of it. I'm like the the showcase. Uh, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay, so we're gonna deal a lot of damage here. This is a really good combo. If you get to four mana, you know, it's always nice. But, uh, yeah. Boom! How do you deal with that damage? So they kill my Unchained. No. They're just fine with going down to two, me being at lethal level next turn. I actually have a shock. Alrighty, Emirian. Well, he, I mean, they. They made it to uh, to turn five, which is more than the other opponent can say. But man, this deck is quick. It's just too quick. <laughs> All right. Well, game two. Amirian scooping at two health instead of one. Whoa. Oh, hey, we finally got a an upgraded kitty cat. Alright, on to a game three to see if we can 3-0 with this deck. Clono Clown? Clono Clown. Alrighty, here we are up against Clono Clown. Look at our kitty cat over there, just chilling. I don't know how I feel about the little orb. Like, I don't know if that's really worth it. We are going to keep this. It is actually the first time in the video that we've seen a Cavalcade and a Chandra's. Which is, it's it's the combo, it's the dream team. So, we're going to go turn one, ten street dodger. And, ooh, correction. Turn one, scorch spitter, because that is way better. If I can hit a land on turn three, it would be a miracle, but it would also be really, ooh, sorry. Again, dogs, you know, they're gonna they're gonna do dog stuff. Um, but if I can hit a land on turn three, which, you know, I have 18 lands in the deck, so realistically it shouldn't happen. But if I can, okay, no I didn't. I was gonna say that is a, uh, a Chandra Spitfire in a wonderful, wonderful board state for us. We didn't, however, which kind of makes me just wanna play the Unchained Berserker. Go no attacks here. Next turn we attack with the Unchained Berserker. We we just attack with everything maybe. I don't know. Phoenix. Uh, that's not what you want to see. Oh no. We're getting mana screwed. Maybe 18 lands is too few. <laughs> I mean, how do we deal with that Phoenix though is the question. I guess this gets played no matter what, right? We, here's the thing. We swing in and they go Twister on Berserker, we can kill the Twister. If they go Phoenix on the Berserker, we can kill the Phoenix. So realistically, we should attack with the Berserker bar none, right? Because no matter what they block with, we got it. <laughs> We're taking something out. Something's going down with them. And again, Berserker does not proc Cavalcade, so I did not make assholes. They just didn't block. Well, I got a surprise for you. I'll just play another creature. 
Maybe they did the math on that too. They were like, wait a minute. <laughs> so they may, they may know what we're up to here. But we're still getting in the damages. We're still building our board. And I mean, hell, if we swing in right now with everything, that's two, four, five, five just from Cavalcade. So it's not bad. Just from like Cavalcade plus our Scorch Spitters having their, their little procs. Five there, two from Shock. That's half their health gone. Turn a tapped land you control to its owner's hand. Are they about to destroy something here? Discard of the land and it deals two damage. They could. They could take out an Unchained Berserker. No, they just... Am I missing something here? Is there something I'm missing? Go <laughs> up. What? Okay, so that, that is what they were doing. They just returned the wrong land the first time. Okay. Alrighty. Chandra's Regulator. Hmm. Still kills one of our Scorch Spitters. We still deal 5 damage. Hmm. And if anything, we can put down the Regulator next turn. Go Scorch Spitter. But if we put down the Regulator and next turn we draw a land, then it was all for nothing anyways, right? But if we... Alright, alright, alright. I convinced myself. It is the smart play. Because if we don't draw anything, which let's let's be like more realistic than anything, I think we have a lower chance of drawing a land than of drawing, you know, miscellaneous card, you know, another skewer or scorch, whatever it may be. Um, so the Chandra Regulator should be the correct play. We'll have to see. <laughs> the game gets me every time. Every single time. Alright. Oh. Let's go Chandra Spitfire. They don't have a whole lot of land right now to really do what they want to do, right? So let's let's set ourselves up for greatness. They should keep their Rekindling Phoenix back this turn. Um So maybe we should have waited till we could haste in the Chandra Spitfire. And should have just went to the Chandra's Acolyte? No, because Chandra's Acolyte of Flame just dies immediately. To the Phoenix. However, this way, oh, they have their own Acolyte of Flame. Okay. Um, but this way, if we play our Acolyte of Flame and they go to kill it with their Rekindling Phoenix, we allow it to happen and then we just get free range with our Chandra Spitfire, which is, you know, again, the key card here. Because five times they're attacking? No. Alright, alright. <laughs> Somebody hasn't done their homework. Because look, one proc, two proc, three proc, four proc, five proc, six proc. Six times three is 18? That's lethal. Right? Oh, I always do this. I made the mistake of doing this before. Um, don't shock until you're going to attack, right? Because I just lost the proc of Chandra Spitfire by using my shock there. So we go and say GG. Because this is GG. And uh, yeah, what can I say? Game 1, 2, 3 being picked up with Rotation Proof Cavalcade. My, my, my. <laughs> you gotta love it. I don't, I don't understand that. Why let me proc it three or four times, right? Why let it go off that many times? And then right when it's about to get to the end, you're like, nope, bye. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. And as always, I'll see you either later tonight or tomorrow. Peace.